In this video, we're going to talk about the generic way to create alignments inside of Civil 3D, which is to create alignments with and without curves. So in order to get that, we're going to have to first get into our alignment creation tools. So we're going to go up to our home tab of the ribbon bar, go into the alignment dropdown and choose alignment creation tools. Once we select that, we get the window for how we're going to name and display our alignment. So I'm going to leave my name as alignment dash next counter. If you wanted to change the name of your alignment, this is where you would do it. Also, you have the options available to you for your general options for a alignment is what site you would like that alignment to be placed in, what style you would like it displayed as inside of Civil 3D, what layer you want your alignment to be on, and what label set you want to have. So a label set is slightly different than regular labels inside Civil 3D. It's a, it's a set of multiple labels that get applied to your alignment once you create it. We'll talk about label sets later, but just know that you have options available to you that are here and you can create new ones. We're going to go ahead and go with the all label set. You can also specify your starting station if you don't want to start at zero plus zero zero. And then the last option you have is the design criteria tab. If you have specific design criteria you need to build your alignment based off of, you can assign them here. You can use your criteria based design by checking this and then importing criteria based on uh, specific design check sets and, and design criteria such as like a minimum radius table based on Ashto. I'm going to go ahead and do this as generic as possible and not decide on any kind of criteria based design and I'm going to leave the starting design speed as 60 and I'm just going to leave my general tab on and leave my sites as none, proposed, and all labels. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK to get into the alignment creation toolbar. So inside of the alignment creation toolbar, the first drop down that you have available to you is where we're going to be talking about right now. We have basically tangent to tangent and whether it is tangent to tangent no curves or tangent to tangent with curves. Tangent to tangent with curves has some underlying settings that are associated with it, and that is inside of the curve and spiral settings. So inside of the curve and spiral settings, you have options for spiral in, curve, and spiral out. So if you're not going to use spirals in your design of your alignments, then you can just go ahead and leave these unchecked. But if you need them, you just check it, and then you set your length and your A value for your spiral in and your spiral out. And then you have your middle option, which is your curve settings, and you can specify your default radius depending on what type you have. So if you change your type, there's, there's multiple different types of curves that you can choose. Most of the time, clothoid is going to be perfectly fine. But if there's a specific curve type you need to have, you have this drop down available to you and you can choose the type of curve you want to have. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as clothoid. I'm going to have my curve checked. I'm going to set my default radius as 50 feet and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, if I wanted to, I've set my settings for tangent to tangent with curves. I could create an alignment using tangent to tangent with curves, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do tangent to tangent with no curves first. But before I do that, what I need to do is turn on some line work that's in here that's going to help us decide where our alignment goes. Uh, and it's inside of the layers. I'm going to scroll down to C road, uh, and then I'm going to turn on my road center, and I'm going to turn on my road curve. And so these, I'm just basically using them as indicators on where my road's going to start and how it's going to interact and where my point of intersections are going to be and that kind of stuff. You can freeform create alignments if you want. I knew that I wanted to create this alignment here, so I have this backbone available for us. So I'm going to do tangent to tangent no curves. And what Civil 3D is telling me is it's saying specify your start point. I know I want my alignment to start up here at the center of this road. And then I'm going to move myself down. And since I'm doing tangent to tangent with no curves, I know that my next point is going to be my point of intersection. And so what I need to do is do a snap to intersection. Uh, and I'm going to intersect this line and this line. And then I'm going to do that again for this line and this line. And then I'm going to move on to the end. And then I hit enter to exit out of that command and you can see my alignment has been placed. It's the screen line here. My label sets have been placed. There are these pink labels that are in here. 
and also some of these end ones. You can see design speed is 60, station is zero, zero. You can also get just some information on your point of intersection and stationing. Uh, moving on from there, I'm gonna go ahead and show how you create tangent to tangent with curves, uh, but then I'm gonna go ahead and delete that alignment. So I'm gonna start off over here somewhere off of my surface and I'm gonna select start point. And what you'll see happen is you have a line available to you. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click. And what you see happening is Civil 3D is automatically placing a curve between the two tangents that I'm now creating. So I have my initial tangent here and I have my second tangent that I'm placing and it's placing a curve between those two tangents. It tries to maintain 50 foot radius because that's what I specified as my setting. But as you can see, if I move in closer, Civil 3D will give me a smaller radius. So I can place a second or a third or a fourth tangent. And as I keep moving, Civil 3D keeps assigning a 50 foot radius to that alignment. And so I can go ahead and hit enter and I can be done here because I was working in the same alignment one, it's linked this alignment to that alignment. So I, what I have to do is to get rid of this information without deleting this alignment over here is I have to delete entities. So I'm gonna delete sub entities. I'm gonna pick this line, that curve, this line, that curve, that curve, and that line, and then hit enter and escape. And I'm gonna close this window.